Now, like you just heard Senator Cortez Masto mention, the community garden stands in tribute of those that we lost. And it has grown with the help of volunteers dedicated to keeping the victims' memories alive. Reporter Sean Delancey is here to show us how they keep the garden a special place to heal. Sean? There is no place quite like the community healing garden anywhere, and that's because the people most affected by 1 October built it with their own hands. Survivors painted these tiles, they planted these trees, and many continue to stand watch over what has become a sacred place right here in the heart of Las Vegas. Volunteers going over every little detail, making sure every sentimental item is clean and in good condition in this green oasis in the middle of a concrete jungle. Volunteers like Sue Ann Cornwell. Uh, all the Route 91 family calls me the keeper of the garden, so. Cornwell says she has taken up the mantle of keeper of the community healing garden because she was on the Las Vegas Strip, the night of the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. I started out coming down because uh, one of the angels passed away in my truck, Denise Verditis, and I came to take care of her stuff and, and saw the need for somebody else to help. Cornwall has been joined every day leading up to the fifth anniversary by volunteers like Alicia Mirke, another survivor, to make sure it's ready to welcome people seeking closure. I've gotten to watch the process um, and how the garden has changed and how the garden has healed people from all over the world. The humble plot of land has changed drastically from its first concept, a sketch on a napkin penned the day after the shooting. Its first iteration was complete just four days later, with thousands from the community doing their part to build it with their own sweat and tears. They came down here, people, thousands of volunteers came down here and, and volunteered their time and, and built this amazing place. Cornwell and Mirke say that the garden, in their eyes, has transformed from a place marred by sadness to one of serenity, love, and even laughter as volunteers said about their work. Now all you feel is just 58 people hugging you every single time you come into this garden. They come and they bring their kids and their kids bring life to the garden. We have a lot of fun and laughs in here now um, and a lot of healing that goes on. As the county plans to develop what they call a permanent memorial on the grounds of the shooting, these volunteers say that the healing garden will live on for the victims, for the survivors, for everyone who's looking to heal. Whatever they need healing for, I hope that they know they can come here and they can find that. Because our 58 angels work hard. They work hard every day to help people heal as we walk that, that path. The city of Las Vegas will host a memorial here just after 10 o'clock this Saturday to remember those lost and those still working to find solace in the Healing Garden. I'm Sean Delancey. Sean, thank you. And as we mark five years since 1 October, Channel 13 is remembering with you. We'll have special team coverage starting on Good Morning Las Vegas. And join us at 10 p.m. this Saturday for a special edition of 13 Action News. We'll also have stories throughout the week leading up to 1 October.